Hey, hey, how's it going? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Got something really fun today. We're going to do an acoustic one guitar version for the song Three Libras by A Perfect Circle. Now, we're going to do something a little different today, too. Generally, as you know from my lessons, I try to stay true to the original recording. Originally, this song is recorded in C-sharp tuning, so all the strings are tuned down C-sharp, F-sharp, B, E, G-sharp, and C-sharp, right? But I wanted to play this at a recent show that I play. I do like some acoustic shows in, in addition to uh, electric shows, and we needed to do it in standard tuning. So I came up with a version of this in standard tuning, and it sounds really good. It's really close. It's not perfect, but it sounds really good, and it'll work in standard tuning. And this way, you won't have to drop tune your guitars, and you can just, you know, use whatever guitar you have lying around in standard tuning. So go ahead and tune your guitars for this version. Uh, standard A440 low to high E A D G. B and E. There's only about eight chords in the song. The changes are not that difficult. I'll show you it with a couple different strum patterns we'll use. And I think you can add this one pretty quickly to your song catalogs, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, the thing about this song is the vibe, the dynamics, and the timing, because it's in 3 4 time. And you could hear that 3 4 off timing. Some people might say it's 6 8. It feels more like to me, like if I count it more in 3 4. So let's go over the chords that you're going to need to play this song. You're going to need an A suspended second. C sharp minor. You're going to need an E major. And also for the intro part, you're going to need this E add 9 chord. So you add that pinky to the second fret to that F sharp note on the high E string, and you get E, and here's your add 9. You're going to need D major, B major. And oftentimes, in place of that B major, because it sounds fuller, I'll play a B suspended second chord. Uh, you also need G major, C major, and F major. If you're having some trouble with those bar chords or the bar chord changing in this song, I could really help you with that. Um, click on the link in the YouTube description box below and I'll send you a killer free video lesson and ebook. And in the video lesson, I go over my best bar chord playing and changing tips. The lesson is filled with exercises and it's extended play. It's not on YouTube, but it'll really help you along in your bar chord journey. And I'll pair it with an ebook, which has more chord charts in it, more lessons, more exercises. It's a killer one-two punch. Video lesson and ebook, I'll send both of them to you for free. Just click on that link below. So the song starts off with an intro progression, which he finger picks. I'm going to strum it and I'll show you how you can finger pick it in case you want to do one or the other. Now this intro he'll play exactly the same again later in the song um, in the bridge section which is after the second chorus. So let me play the intro uh, and then I'll go and explain it. Here we go. It'll sound like this. So the intro you're going to play um, A suspended second and you're going to play it three times. And you're going to use this strum pattern for the whole intro pretty much. Down, down, up, down if you want to strum this. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. So you do that A sus two three times. Then C sharp minor once. Then A sus 2 twice. Then you're going to play that E add 9 once. And then C sharp minor once. And then that progression repeats. So I'll do it a little slower this time. He does it again. A sus 2 three times. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. C sharp minor. A sus 2 twice. Then go to that E add 9. Then C sharp minor. Okay, so after the second time that C sharp minor is your last chord, then you're going to go to D major once, twice, three times, fourth time, just hit it once and let it ring. That's strummed. If you want to finger pick it, you could. You could do something like this. Okay, and all I'm doing there is I'm fingering the same chord progression. So here's the pattern. You could use this for all the chords. Um, so for instance, on the A sus 2, first thing is hit the, the A string and the B string together. Then you hit the G string. 
Oh. And then the A string again. So you get this. And then uh, the two strings again, A and uh, uh, B. So you get this. And the same thing on the next chords, right? Um, so you could use that pattern throughout and you could finger pick the whole thing if you want to. So strummed or finger picked, your choice. So now you have the intro which goes right into the chorus section. The chorus is through you in the obvious. That's going to be the chorus section. And we'll call the verse the section after that which is the difficult not to feel a little bit. So let me play the chorus. I'll take it right from the D chord at the end of the intro. He does that D chord, you know, four times. The last one rings. that ring okay and here is the chorus That goes into the verse there on that A sus2 chord. Okay. And hey, if you could do me a huge favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel really helps us to keep bringing the content. And ring that subscription bell because then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Also, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you like this lesson, what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. Okay, so for the chorus, here's all you're playing. You're playing A sus2 to E to B or B sus2, I'll play the B sus2 to G. You do that four times. The last time you play a C sharp minor. The strum pattern is down, up, down, up. Down, pause, up, down, up. That works really nice. i just do a couple slow for you. And the last one, same strum, C sharp minor, and then you got to get to aces two for the first verse. So that first chorus and second chorus are exactly the same, just like that. The chorus one goes into verse one. Verse one is difficult not to feel a little bit. Verse two is a little different. I'll show you that next. But here is the uh, verse one. I'll play the chorus right before it, the last time through that progression. Last one you let ring and it goes into the second chorus. That verse, difficult not to feel. You're gonna play that A sus2, and we're gonna do the same strum pattern that we did in the chorus before. Down, up, down, up. So you're gonna play the A sus2 four times. Three. Then C sharp minor four times. Disappointed and passed over. Back to Asus 2 four times. When I look right through to see you naked. C sharp minor twice and oblivious. D twice. Don't. Asus 2 twice. Three times. Four times. Five times. Six times. Seventh time you let it ring and there's a pause for that last measure and then it's gonna go right into the second chorus. Up until this point in the song too, the verses, they're, they're quiet you know, and then quiet, and then it gets, starts to get loud at the next chorus, right? So you want to have, build the dynamics in this tune, that's really important. Right, so we're getting there, structure-wise, so you, you know, you, you know that intro, which goes into the chorus one, which goes into verse one, the difficult not to feel, that goes into chorus two, and the vocal line is, but I threw you to the obvious, and chorus two is the same exact thing as I showed you in chorus one. So chorus two goes into verse two, and verse two is a little different than verse one. It's a little shorter. You're not playing the A sus twos at the end. That's seven times like we did in the previous verse. This is the here I am expecting just a little bit. It ends on the C sharp minor twice. D. 
-hmm. And that's when you start building it up because then the next course, because I threw you to the obvious is when it gets really loud. So I'll tell you what, let me play the last line of verse two and I'll play it into this third chorus and this is where it changes and it gets loud. It'll sound like this. So here's the end of verse two. Still kind of quiet. Now I start building it. Chorus. goes into the bridge section in which you basically just repeat the intro. All right, so that chorus, because I threw you to the obvious, but it gets really loud. What you're going to do is you're going to play an E major chord twice, because I threw, and, and you're going to use that same treble, strum pattern, down, up, down, up. Because I threw E twice, U to the obvious. So that obvious is C, F. And then you just repeat that. C, what? Occur C behind F. Eyes D twice of a falling C. Angel F. Eyes D twice again of a tragedy C F. Okay, so it's just E twice C to F, and you do that four times, and that should be very loud, and that's where it builds, because then after that it goes right into the bridge section, and that's when he's kind of saying, oh well, oh well, apparently nothing, apparently nothing at all. And that's the same as the intro, it ends on those four Ds. Now that last one, don't let it ring, you just play through it, um, and again it gets louder now because it goes into the outro. The you don't, you don't, you don't see me, you don't, you don't see me. And that outro is chord changes that you've done already. And all you're going to play there is you're going to play the A sus 2 four times. You don't, you don't. C sharp minor four times. Same strum pattern. You don't, A sus 2 again four times. C sharp minor four times. You don't, you don't, you don't see me. A sus 2 four times again. C sharp minor four times. Almost done. A sus two four times again. C sharp minor twice. D twice. And the second time, you just hit the D and let it ring once and the song ends. And that's it. So that's Three Libras by A Perfect Circle. It's really fun to do it in this acoustic kind of one guitar version in standard tuning, right? I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel because that really helps us to keep bringing the content. And ring that subscription bell and then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. And also click on that link in the YouTube description box below and get my free video lesson and ebook on essential bar chord playing and changing tips, techniques, and exercises. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. I got tons more killer lessons and content coming. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. See you in the next lesson.